Why, what do we have here? There's a lot of valuable ore around here. They should open up a mine so that the watershed can become horribly polluted. Pretty foggy, huh, Kaine? Hey, what was this? Don't mind me, Kaine. I know you might think I look kind of ridiculous, but Nier's a natural hunter-gatherer. It's a deep chasm. Let's roll, Kaine. Hmm? You okay, Kaine? Yeah, she's okay. Look at her go. Yona walking along. Perhaps through the garden, looking at the pretty plants. Though they're just sprouts at this point. So what's facade like? It's strange. Let's just leave it at that. Stranger than a boorish young woman who battles monsters in her undergarments. Let's go. Well, you could say explain why you battle monsters in your undergarments. What is this, a fountain? I don't know what this thing is. Kaine isn't offering any explanation either, even though she knows this place better than us. What's that? It is known as a scorpion. Phylum Arthropoda, Subphylum Pelicerata, Order Scorpionta. They are closely related in form and structure. Well, there is a scorpion. I all I saw was, you know, the wolves. Now that I understand. Come on, man. Oh, after all the shades we killed, these aggressive man-eating wolves should be nothing. They're not even shades. Which is terrible, because that means we're not going to get any big, you know, reward. R really? You're a bit late to the... A bit late to pointing that out, aren't you, Vice? Well, I guess it was Nier who did. Wait, they're leaving. That one appears to be the pack leader. And a shade. Where was that? Well, anyway. This is a desert, all right. It's a lot more wide open than anywhere else we've seen. And we don't mind me, Kaine. I know that Facade is in the other direction, because you've told me that, but I'm going to just... Oh, but I want to get that gleaming thing over there. Well, never mind. We were not equipped for a desert anyway. Although, it looks like it might be kind of a cold desert, honestly. Hmm? Oh, there's a scorpion. Scorpion? Scorpion? No, oh, whatever. A very big scorpion, though. They all come bigger down here, don't they? This must be Fossad! The gate's closed shut. Doesn't look like we'll be getting in very easily. Now see here... You know these guys, Kaine? No, it's not that. saved one of their kids from a pack of wolves. Ever since, this town's welcomed me with open arms. It's gotta be a pretty screwed up place if they let me in, huh? Anyway, I don't know the language or anything, so don't get too excited. 
Well, I'm glad we could get in anyway. The king lives in the big building. Figure out the rest for yourself. What about you? I'll stay here. I hate crap like this. I don't know whether to thank you or wish you ill. I suppose a quick stroll about town is in order. The language they use here is pretty crazy. So good luck with that. It's crazy to you. Not not to them. I guess it could be some one of those languages where it's like they're clicking or they can only count to four or something. There are some odd languages out there. I'm not going to say more about it, though. I'll, I'll talk about that some other time. Edie. I can't understand a thing these people are saying. They speak a language I have never before encountered. Well, I understand this is probably going to be pretty useless trying to talk to them, but what can I say? I'd wager that huge structure is the king's manor. How do we even get there? We have the willpower and smarts, my good man. This is a huge city. It's also beautiful. Hey. Nah. Maybe I should have studied languages when I was a kid. You could speak a thousand tongues and still fail if you lack knowledge of another's culture. Well said, Vice. The language and culture are often closely related. Well, yeah. um, let's go. I'm sure we'll get there sooner or later. See? Here are some kids, I guess. Yeah. What are, what are you guys doing? They, I, I, I think they're playing rock, paper, scissors, but their garments don't even have armholes. Yeah. They're like ponchos that aren't cut on the side. Yeah. Well, whatever. Really, whatever. I, I don't really know how much good all this will do me. Um, but we'll find our way around, I'm sure. You know, they live here. They find their way around. Of course, they do live here. Um, in any case, the whole planes and their wolves threatening people seems to confirm my suspicion that this takes place sort of in southern Russia, sort of Central Asia area. Yeah. Do they... Why do they have all these structures that are moving sand, though? What practical purpose could that serve? Like, why would you have your city full of flowing quicksand? Oh, look, here is a person who actually has armholes and isn't a soldier. Just some kid. Staring out over the beautiful city, though. Um... We'll take these stairs, and we'll go Come right down boys. here. Help me out here. I am a brilliant book of unspeakable value, not some dog-eared travel guide. Well, we found our way to the Ma King's Manor. All these stairs. They couldn't have made this more needlessly complicated if they tried. We'd best figure out a way to the king. Elsewise, we'll be ascending and descending stairs until doomsday. No entry, it would seem. I sure wish I understood this language of theirs. This is pointless. Let us go back. No, not yet. Eerie. The Airy? Row. No, the row. No entry, it would seem. Okay, fine, we'll I go sure back. I sure wish I understood this language of theirs. This is pointless. Let us go back. Mm. 
The stairs are kind of an impractical element from an external appearance, but it does help them make it denser here. You want some help? Well, I mean, sure. I'm sorry you tripped, kid. You're just gonna lie there, kid? I don't, I don't like that at all. Not one bit. Oh, look. This one lacks the power of speech. Perhaps she can communicate through gesture. Let me see. Thank you. You're welcome. I am Fira. Ah. Uh, trouble no we just need to ask your leaders about something but I can't do that unless I can understand them wait if if she's deaf how is near communicating with her I can I guess she's not deaf she's just mute guide you oh she will act as her guide how fortuitous but first I must explain this town. I'm not here for a tour. No, there are rules to follow. Follow me. Well, there you have it. Okay, I'll follow you. Oh, well, I guess she's following us. I'll be honest, for a moment I half suspected it would turn out that Yona had followed us here or something. But nah. It's just Fira. Fe oh. This is an item shop. All shops and houses in this city must abide by the following rule. Rule 106, do not live on level ground. Rule 106. Is rule 106 the reason for your labyrinthine system of staircases? Well, I suppose eccentric people deserve an eccentric town. It's always interesting how cultures can work out. Oh, so sorry. Hey. Wish I could buy something, but... Wait, Fira! Where are you going, Fira? I mean, I understand why they call this place Facade with all these masks, but... Oh! It's a canal system, made of sand. Rule 115,017? Okay. Oh, come now. What could possibly be the point of such an absurd rule? I don't know. It's a rule that was in place when I first came here, not a new one. Hold on. Your people are still making rules? Yes. I heard that we passed rule 124,046 earlier this month. Of all the idiocy, I could never live in this city. The town expands to suit the needs of the bureaucracy. And the bureaucracy expands to suit the needs of the rules that the town creates for the bureaucracy. Still, it's a beautiful city. However strange the customs of these masked people are. I see they have a caste system. Ah, so the aristocracy lives in the top levels, while the commoners subsist below. Seems like a rather unpleasant rule for those on the bottom. Does this girl plan to drag us about the entire town in this fashion? The kid sure does love her rules, doesn't she? Rule 
we can have the option to skip it? I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Besides, we have to ride these things all around the city if we want to go to an item shop. What's that soldier's mask anyway? I think there's a kind of face on it. I can't say the same about Fira's mask, though. Some places, when left to their own devices in an isolated condition like this town, they can develop some very peculiar customs. Though from an anthropological spect standpoint, we should never call any custom weird. But I'm not an anthropologist. I'm just a visitor. This is a Strange thing store. Hold on. A Strange thing store? Yes. A store that sells strange things. Such as... I don't know. The things are so strange, no one is sure what they do. Yeah, that's pretty strange. Oh, I I'm sorry. Can I buy some strange things? Yeah. Yeah, he's not interested. You know, it's not so bad around here. Looking around the city this way. Here we are, right back at the entrance, or not. Maybe now she'll finally take us to see the king. I'm sure there are all sorts of rules about seeing the king. Like, if you see the king, you have to put your left hand behind your head and keep it there the whole time. It'll be something like that. What rule says that everyone has to wear a mask, you think? And clearly not everyone does. No one's, like, arrested near, say, for not wearing a mask. Yeah, you know, Kaine wasn't kidding when she said Fasad was a weird town. Where are you taking us, Fira? Oh, to here? Oh, okay. She just wants to show us all the shops, doesn't she? This is a store that sells raw materials. We use this material to make masks. Rule 12. Do not neglect your mask. I see the masks are very foundational. If you want to live here, you must have a mask on at all times. Yes, I was beginning to suspect that. Is there some kind of cultural significance to the masks? Like, do their different patterns mean something? Like, they indicate your cast? I suppose Nier does not need to wear a mask because he does not live here. He is merely visiting. I wonder, if, though, if these rules are, like, laws as I understand them. Perhaps you're not, they're just a sort of castigation rather than arrest for not obeying. Oh, come on, we're going around again? Why couldn't we have just done this all in one round? man reach for the noose. I don't know how you survive in a place with so many inconvenient prescripts. It's not so bad. Although I used to ask the same question. And then someone told me, rules do not exist to bind you, they exist so you may know your freedoms. When I look at it like that, they don't bother me. Whatever gets you through the day. Oh, sorry, sorry. 
I must say, I'm, um, glad to know that. Just wanted to show you my jumping ability. It's interesting, I, I've never, ever thought about rules in that fashion. Well, there's a lot of interesting things in Facade. An archaeologist could have quite a good time here. Quite an academically engaging time. But I suppose this, that cultures don't exist for the sake of being studied, they exist for the sake of themselves. I notice that the skiff is also being used to transport jars of something. It's probably some kind of food or spices, I would think. The prince is the king, then. The Black Scroll. This is the prince's royal advisor. He would know far more about these things than I. Thank you. All of this touring has been helpful for understanding your language. I believe I will be able to speak with this advisor myself. Vice, you are one bright book. We need to talk to the prince. I'm afraid the prince is not taking outside visitors at present. Vice translates. I would appreciate it if you could come back another day. My patience for this kind of thing has long ago evaporated. It's not your fault, Vera. Let's go back to Kaine for now. A lot of traveling around in this city. Quite a lot of it. I mean, I'm sure the locals are accustomed to writing this. There's probably some rule that says you need to stand still like this, too. There's probably a rule that says don't sit down on the skiff. There's probably some rule that says you must be barefooted except on Wednesdays. And the thing is, there probably is a story behind most of these rules. There's probably something that happened that made that rule go into effect. But, um, that doesn't mean it's rational to keep up the rule indefinitely, but what can I say? Other than what I said, I can say that. Maybe, I don't know what the rules say about saying things. Maybe the rules say that you can't say that about the rules. It's very possible. These sort of systems tend to fall apart if people, after all, are a little more free to question them. Wait! Wait, hold on. Vice can speak their language, right? Oh, I see. They consider faces as like a... You know... The thing that... It's very private and people shouldn't see. The masks would help with the sand, though. It's actually kind of interesting. I guess the same way that I think that Kaine dresses ludicrously and is exposing too much, these people think Nier is exposing too much, or they would think I myself am. Slow down, I can barely... <laughs> The person who saved me? Surely you don't mean Kaine. Kaine helped you, this foul-mouthed hussy. Piss off, book. You guys done? Hey, did you hear the news? The prince is missing. What? Then we're in violation of Rule 83,348. What's going on? The prince is gone. And according to Rule 83,348, we have to start looking for him right away. No, you don't get it. The prince went missing in the Baron Temple. 
But Rule 50,527 states that only nobility may enter the temple. Oh no, that means we can't go look for him. But what about Rule 83,348? What about Rule 50,527? Hmm. Looks like all those rules are getting in the way. This is their way and their system of laws. As outsiders, we have no say in the matter. Come, we should be off. So you're the kid she saved, huh? I'm glad she did. You're a good kid, Fyra. But before we go, okay, I want to buy a few weapons. I don't remember where the weapon shop is. Was it this one? Hey. No, this is a general goods shop. Though I will buy a few antidotal weeds. That just strike me as a good thing to have. I'll even buy one of these because I have so much money now. And we need all of these. I'll take... No, no, not that many. I mean, that's a whole job's worth of money right there. No, I'll take this, and I'll take this. Um... Also take a bulb of freesia and uh, bounty fertilizer. While I'm here, would you be interested perhaps in purchasing some food? We have a lot of things that are worth a lot, like those turtle eggs. I wouldn't think that'd be worth much anything, honestly. Well, I don't want to get rid of that, we only have one. I'm kind of a hoarder. I like to at least have one of everything. Um, well, I guess I shouldn't call myself a hoarder. That's negative self-talk. I'll call myself a collector. It's those hunter-gatherer instincts. Uh, we'll sell... No, we don't want to sell clay. We need clay for that merchant. Really, a shaman fish is worth that little? Okay. Uh, we'll sell a few of these. The locals could probably use it anyway. Now here's what we're looking for. Um, yeah, we can sell some rice and some beans. Very basic food stuff that I'm sure the locals can do, you know, that would like. I see, instead of gods, they have rules. Although I suppose that some gods are bound by rules. And now I can learn what these guys are doing. I see. These are just some, you know, local women who are talking about the wolf problem. Yeah, and I bet that jet black giant wolf is a shade. Let's be honest here, what else could it be, huh? Well, it could be exactly what I said it was, but where's the weapon shop? That's what I'm looking for. I went out to shop and I ended up selling instead. Oh, now we can hear all the things that locals have to say. <laughs> See, it just goes to show that no matter how different people might look, there's the same basic humanity uniting them all. Yeah. The professor has been studying the quicksand for over ten years now. Okay. Yeah. We're conducting research to see if we can use the flow of the quicksand as a power source. This would be a great boon to our people. Apparently that ocean of sand contained water at some point, but... Now what land isn't swallowed by the ocean is slowly turning into sand. It's as if the human race is being shunned by its own home. Climate change, desertification... Well, desertification is one component of climate change. The, raising, the rising sea levels are another. But where is that shop? I don't know. I was going to comment on how it doesn't look like- like, this city looks like it was very deliberately built with these tears, and so it was. Every year, there's at least one child who drowns in the quicksand. Oh. I'm sorry. It's, it's rather sad. Oh, well, there you go. I feel like a complete idiot. You can see the entire city from this vantage point. Trouble comes, this is the first place to find it. I see. Good to know. I like how, you know, friendly they are with outsiders. But, um, I feel like we're further than ever from where we need to be. 
Wait, where are- okay, so there's the way out. Huh? Everyone's saying that he's useless, or at least whispering it. That sounds like Japanese. Hold on, we want to go this way, actually. So, I get it. So, they say you can't say bad things about the prince, even though he's useless. So, he's not such a good prince, I see. Now then, where is what I... Oh, here's somebody with a quest. Ew. Would you lend an ear to my problems, traveler? Sure. My daughter's birthday is coming up, and I want to cook her something special. But Rule 80,000... Uh, 80,000? Rule 8614 states that parents cannot purchase food for their children's birthday feasts. Would you be willing to help me? That's a terrible, terrible rule. If it's for your daughter, I'd be more than willing to help. Thank you very much. I need you to bring me ten round striped food objects. Um, I think you'll need to be more specific. I'm sorry, but Rule 27,229 states that when sending someone on an errand, you cannot state the name of the item you want him to buy. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll do it. But don't expect too much. These rules are absolutely preposterous. I cannot even tell that person what we wish to purchase. Never in my life have I seen such foolishness. Ah, it's no big deal. Come now, this must bother you. It does, but I trust they have a reason for it. Something meaningful that we just don't understand yet. That is a very broad-minded thing to say. Are you feeling well? That was almost a compliment. Yeah, it really was almost. You know, he didn't say something like, Oh, well, I'm not surprised you'd say that because you're dumb. Well, this is the raw materials shop. Maybe. It is rich. They might actually... Ha nah, they don't. I was hoping they could actually have some metal that we're looking for. Here we go. I also gotta check out that Strange Things store while I'm here. You know I have to check out that store. What kind of things might they have? It's kind of odd the motion the guard is making with the spear. I mean, there's probably a rule that says he has to do that. But it almost looks as if he is rowing, even though he's clearly not. This sand is flowing whatever he does. But I guess, you know, he and Nier are both standing here with their weapons. It probably sounds Japanese because it was, you know, made by a Japanese company. And so when they were making a nonsense language, they made it kind of based on Japanese. Okay, I shouldn't say that. The people here don't speak nonsense. Oh. Oh, I see. He's just the ferryman. Roll. As for rule 6909, I will hereby engage in the trading of weapons. Would you like to buy something? All right, let's see. Well, here's something that actually we can afford. We could actually afford the Beast Bane. Oh my goodness, is this a difficult choice. Hold on. It occurs to me that we have old weapons we could sell and probably be no lo loss to us. So maybe I'll do that, actually. Um, after I sell a few more of these. Where is that? Why, wait, why? I don't know. No, actually, no. I, I've got to have those weapons in here somewhere waiting to be sold, right? They must be. No, they're not. Well, dang. I can't bring myself to buy the Beast Bane. It's just too much. I'll be poor again. So I'll buy this one. You see, I'm just a few thousand away from having the other one, right? Right. The other one, as I say. Um, let's equip it. 
This is the one, right? Yeah. That's ludicrous looking. It really is a worm. It's a kind of bird. Um... Is it actually a claw of a giant bird? What am I saying? Of course it's not. That'd be ludicrous. Well, let's put on some magic words. Oh, I like the look of that one. Um... Poison. I always prefer poison. But do we have anything beyond Solir? I... I don't think we do. Yeah, I don't think we have anything beyond this one either, so... Okay. I should probably have assigned things to this a long time ago. Um, yeah. Sounds good to me, but don't we have one that could raise it more? Like by 4%? No, we don't. Okay, though, that's good. Any effect any of these have on anything? Well, clearly they do. Um... Sure. You can probably upgrade these, too, at this point. Like to poison. We can replace Geb with one that'll increase it more, right? Um, no. There's nothing that will increase it more. Alright, fine. Well. Good, I'm glad that's done. Hey, I want to go to the Strange Thing shop now. I know that I seem almost like, a, you know, an annoying tourist because I am, and I hate seeming that way. I want to see like some guy who's informed and respectful. But even though I am also that, you can't, you must admit that purely to someone who's never seen it before, the strange thing shop must be a sight to behold. Well, not really. It's, I mean, it's just a little stand. But the things that they have, the strange things themselves, are the sight to behold. I've just never heard of something like this. Just wait, it'll be some dumb novelty shop. Like, they'll sell snow globes or something. Well, I shouldn't say that. These people don't strike me as the snow globe types. Maybe a figurine of a goddess, say. That's more their kind of deal. We could put it up on our house, become an idol worshipper. Then God will spend multiple books of the Bible railing at us for it. It'll be great. I haven't commented on the bagpipes, have I? Because I'm not entirely sure those are bagpipes. Whatever they are, I like them. Okay, okay, we're almost there. We're almost at the Strange Thing shop, right next to the entrance. So it's the perfect one to end on, too. Oh, who are you? Yeah. Rule 2078 states that boys born on December 3rd must keep continual watch over the quicksand. That is why I am keeping continual watch over the quicksand. Following the rules must be pretty tough at times. Yeah. As per rule 9102, I am responsible for the trading of strange and unusual goods when I actually have some on hand. You don't have any? Uh, all that build up for naught. Wait, hold on. I'm going away from where I want to go, which is towards the... How do I get back up there? Oh, okay, I guess I have to go the long way. Actually, what, what all does he have? He clearly has some stuff. He has some surfboards. He has, um, signs from the old world. Those are pretty strange things for them, I guess. Hold on. Those should be being studied by archaeologists somewhere. It's as tragic as things like, uh, you know, back in the Chinese countryside when peasants would, uh, find, say, ancient Shang Dynasty bone, like, prophecy bone things with valuable historical descriptions on them. Specifically the what are the Oracle bones, that's what they're called, Oracle bones. If you heard that noise in the background, it's because I snapped, because I remember. It's like, oh yeah, that's what it was. I just snapped again to demonstrate, as if you could see me. S saved. Okay. Let's go. Let's go save the prince. Oh, guards? Want to warn me about wolves? Roar. The benefactor is our friend. Therefore, friends of the benefactor are friends to us as well. This is a rule. 
Kaine is the benefactor? For saving one kid? Well, these guys are hospitable. We welcome you, friend of our benefactor. Okay, let's go. Hold a moment. It seems the hussy is not moving. Well, let's go look into that. The girl with no voice must speak for Kaine. I'm going to save the prince. Vida. No, you can't. Have you forgotten about Rule 50,527? 50,527? 50, that rule? Oh, screw the rules. You could just ask an outsider to go save him. Then no one violates a rule. You know, an outsider, like me. And oh, what luck. There just happens to be an outsider here who can't stop meddling in the affairs of others. Impossible. We could never ask such a thing. I'll do it. Vera told me about Rule 1024. You know that one, right? Rule 1024. You must honor the request of any outsider owed a debt. That's how it goes, right, Vera? Why did I ever agree to travel with such a pack of do-gooders? Let's go. Alright. Now we're talking. And now we're gonna send a letter to tell... to tell Yona, and probably Ishmael too, all about what's happened to us here. The rules... It's gonna be an unusually elaborate and interesting letter. Thank you. It's true that you probably would die if you tried to come with us about on this one, so... Let's go. That's what I want to hear. Come, Benefactor! And Vicey. We have a prince to rescue or something. Really, Fear has some spunk wanting to go after him herself. Or I shouldn't say spunk. Oh wait, there she is. Let me show you the way. You'll need my guidance to get through the sandstorm. I mean, alright. This will take a while, won't it? Yeah. Don't mind me going a bit ahead here. I just want to make sure there's no trouble. There is going to be trouble. There's going to be so much trouble. We won't have... Oh my goodness, what's going to happen with all this trouble? Trouble, that's what. Really though, I shouldn't have said spunk. That means semen. Well, it does it in British English. Man, you're walking out here barefoot. You're tough. They have a lot of rules, though. And I know it seems sort of laughable to us, but they really do take them seriously. And humans have many strange customs, you know? Oh, it's another one of those fountains or whatever. They've probably been built because of some rule, I'm sure. I appreciate it. So I suppose they still have sign language even after all this time. That's... I'm glad. I mean, sign language is extremely useful. Imagine if you couldn't talk and there weren't sign language. How horrible that would be. I mean, not being able to talk is already bad enough. Also, Nier should be wearing a mask or something. Beware the wolves! Well, here's our problem.
Hey, wolf. This sand is just too much. <laughs> the moment I open my mouth, the sand rushes inside. Vice, you don't even have a mouth. How does Vera deal with this? Perhaps there is some kind of filter inside that mask of hers. That's a good bet. Perhaps the mask itself is made of some kind of Beware material that is a filter. Where? Oh! You know, it's a good thing she's out here with us. Imagine what, what a state she'd be in if she wasn't. All three missed! Worth it. Maybe? What good is a wolf fang? Thanks for your help there, Kaine. It's not dead! Get away from Fira! These people should stop arguing about rules and follow Fira's lead. She seems to possess almost boundless stores of energy. She's a really admirable kid, I give her that much. Well, I should give her more than that. I, I mean, she is tough. She's small, she's scrawny, her clothing is kind of tattered. Or actually, it might be cut up is a stylistic thing. In fact, I think it is. Never mind, it's not that tattered. Though it is rather unclean. Not that I'm surprised. I wonder what cast she's from. I mean, she was on top and carrying a bowl of fruit. So I'm sure she was, uh, you know, pretty high up cast. Poor people probably wouldn't be carrying around bowls of fresh fruit. Or maybe she's a servant, and that's why she was carrying it. Because she was bringing it to some rich folk. Some aristocrat. A Brahmin. Oh, oh, something's coming into sight. The storm is finally clearing up. Beware the wolves! Kaine doesn't say much, does she? But she does uh, always, um, you know... Whoa! Did you see that? This girl is possessive. Stay close to the girl now. Oh! That was close. Thanks, Vice. She just keeps on trooping ahead, not even... She is brave, I'll tell you what. She doesn't even say... Well, of course she doesn't say a word when the wolf is attacked because she's a mute. I'm sorry, that was insensitive. I almost said something quite rude just then. Well, we're gonna go here. We're gonna kill that giant shade wolf. It'll be great. And this time we'll have Kaine to help us. Won't that be something? How do you hold up, Kaine? Too much sand in your eyes? Nah, she's holding up fine. gonna leave you here? She's very insistent about the Baron Temple. Yeah, yeah, in fact, not leave the chance. You see, as I was saying, look at Kaine's, like, underwear. It's sort of strips of cloth held together with... Like, it's not what I would think of as panties. This is as far as I can go. Okay, we'll take it from here. Oh, and one more thing. Thank you very much. I'm are you sure you, you're just gonna stay here? Well, all right. I hope that you're all right out here, that the wolves don't get you. I really hope they don't get you, kid. You're a good kid. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve anything like that. She reminds me of Yona. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Let me go, let me- <gasps> I assume we'll have to find her as well. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>